He could have easily made a living playing lacrosse. With the, he was the number one pick in the professional league, but it said he wanted to follow his passion and try his luck with some basketball. Spencer fires and scores. Spencer using his wow. side. Spencer to the cage. Oh! Oh! You get an opportunity to come out and watch Pat Spencer. This is a guy, a generational talent. Whoop. Boom! Wants to play college basketball on a high D1 level next year. Not too many people uh, have done what Pat Spencer has done in the game of lacrosse. Right now, Pat Spencer is just making this look too easy. He is toying with this Johns Hopkins defense. He's pretty much a superstar in our sport. Uh, everybody knows, you know, who Pat Spencer is. I don't know if I can really remember a time where sport like wasn't a part of my life. Before Pat Spencer stamped his name into the college lacrosse record books, he was a sports crazed kid growing up in parts of Rhode Island and Maryland. He went on to attend the Boys Latin School of Maryland, where he spent four years playing basketball and lacrosse. I loved playing them both at the same time. I think going back and forth between the two was something I always enjoyed. At Boys Latin, Spencer was recognized as an Under Armour All-American on the lacrosse field and earned All-Star honors on the basketball court his senior season. You know, for me, I just wanted to compete at the highest level in college, and so the track that I took with lacrosse. Spencer accepted a scholarship to play lacrosse at Loyola, Maryland in Baltimore. Four years later, he had totaled 149 goals and 231 assists, placing him second all-time in points in NCAA Division I lacrosse history. All the while, the face of college lacrosse had aspirations of returning to the basketball court. With a fifth year of eligibility, his dream to play Division I basketball was in sight. I really knew like all the freshman year that I was going to play again. I just didn't know when. We got some calls in the spring uh, about this guy, and they said, don't hang up on us. I did a lot of research, um, but I also had a ton of people help me along the way, some former coaches. Pat and I had a couple phone conversations talking about basketball, his love for the game, what his goals were. And I just loved, you know, the things he was saying. You know, when he first visited, we had, we had heard about it and went down and watched him work out. Uh, a few of our girls had got wind of it too. I just kept getting a bunch of texts from the girls on the lacrosse team saying, oh my God, Pat Spencer's here, Pat Spencer's here. And I was like, who is that? <laughs> I, I had no idea who it was. You know, I think they all kind of Googled his highlights and the first thing was, man, he could really play lacrosse. Did you see that behind the back shot? Did you see that no look pass? I was like, yeah, he was pretty good. Obviously, I saw like all the lacrosse stuff. So I was confused at first, and then uh, I looked up his basketball highlights, and it was just a, a highlight tape from him. A um, bunch of fast break dunks in high school. Thankfully enough, Coach was willing to take a chance on me and you know, provided the, the atmosphere that I wanted and a program that I wanted to be a part of. Just after seeing him on the court, you, know, you could see his athleticism. He had a burst, uh, the way he shot the ball, uh, the way he could pass, his ball skills. And in our opinion as a staff, we just thought it was a no-brainer. The first month, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty frustrated. I don't think I was able to showcase any of what I can bring to a team. And so, you know, I think they, they saw probably my competitive edge was probably the first thing. You know, I remember the players coming up after a couple of the, you know, their open gym situations and saying, coach, this guy can play. He's gonna be able to help us. Pat Spencer, probably one of the most interesting stories in college basketball this season. I think I was running up the left wing and Boo was at like half court and he just threw it up. And uh, I looked over and saw Pat and I was like, oh yeah. Here on the rebound. Bowie, the Alley-oop, Bowie and Spencer, what a finish. Newcomer to newcomer, Pat Spencer is juiced. That was like the moment I've been waiting for, you know, for four years of not playing basketball. And anytime you finally get that chance to really strap it on and, and play against somebody else, it becomes really exciting. We weren't as 
you know, surprises as the fans were because we've seen, we'd seen it in practice. He was going to be one of those guys, the brighter the lights, the more excited and the better he does. I mean, because that's who he's been his whole life. It's the 2019 Fort Myers tip-off. The Northwestern Wildcats meet the Braves of Bradley University. One, two, three. Spencer at the top, driving, puts up a runner, got it. Spencer, once more. Again, guess who, number 12. Goodness. He's in double figures. Spencer's a great story, isn't he? Spencer gets the screen, steps back, and buries it. How about that? Spencer, this time, takes it himself. Boy, that was nifty. It's explosive as well as strong. Spencer, he was really the key that got them going in the first half. Funny, it's oh my goodness. Oh, why not? Why not? When it's your night, it's your night. It's Pat Spencer's night. In the back of my mind, I, I knew I could have that kind of game, and um, hopefully I'll continue to do so. You know, I have confidence that I will, confidence in, in the guys on the team that they'll have those kinds of games too, and I mean, that's ultimately what you want to do, to hopefully impact the game enough to help your team win. Usually when you're around guys that have been the elite of the elite in, in their sport, whatever that is, there's an it factor to those guys, and, and he has it. I think he's also kind of helped me with like his mentality. Uh, he was the best lacrosse player, some say ever. So just like that mentality of being the best, he carries that with him. This isn't a gimmick. You know, this isn't just the lacrosse guy who's going out to play basketball. He, he has serious aspirations about pursuing basketball. He wanted this year to prove to himself and to others that he could play beyond college. And I know that's what he wants to do once he's done playing here at Northwestern.